comfort food is served at Elaine's Pick, although at this place it's elaborate, so we call it American Bistro Fair. The big, bold flavors are served up in an elegant setting full of neighborly charm. In Los Gatos at Nick's Next Door. This restaurant used to be a home, and then the old owner transferred it into a restaurant. The tree is about, I want to say, 180 years old. We produce good California bistro style food that is made with love. Hi, I'm Nick DeFew, and I own Nick's Next Door in Los Gatos. I went to Culinary Academy in San Francisco. The teachers there were old school French teachers, and they basically said, you have to work 15, 16 hours a day minimum to get ahead in this business. And I said, okay. I said goodbye to my friends and family pretty much for a good four or five years, and I dived into it. One of the reasons why I got into this business is because I wanted to make people happy. My grandmother was the one who inspired me to, to, to become a chef because she cooked for us and it was, it was made with love. I just wanted to provide that same happiness that I felt every day when I was there. Everybody works five days a week here. We are closed uh, Sundays and Mondays because Sundays and Mondays are family days. It's very important for us to be able to spend time with our, our families. Cheers. I would have never wanted to do anything else. It's been a pleasure to provide those smiles, to be able to provide food and make people happy with it. It was the best decision I ever made. Now, I just have to say, you know, when you say check, please, at this place, how do you get the check? Oh, it's in a wonderful book. They do st stick the check in a book. And people do write comments all over the book. Right. It's very charming. So a new way of saying check, please. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> how did you discover Nix? Well, I'm in the neighborhood. I live very close by, and it was a tiny little hole in the wall on Main Street. We suggested, you know, since it was so hard to get into, that he needed to expand. And he said, no, I'd rather be full than have a bigger restaurant and be empty. But eventually he had to, and he moved around the corner. It's not Nick's next door. It's Nick's around the corner. Mm -hmm. We followed him, and uh, I think half the town has followed him. What is your dish that you grab every time? Well, there's a lot, but I think my favorite is the steak. I think it's one of the best steaks around. And my snobby food daughter uh, from L.A. says that she thinks it was the best steak she's ever <laughs> had, too. It's, it's just wonderfully flavorful. It's very juicy. It's always done precisely as we ask. Mm -hmm. It comes with uh, frites, and it, it feels like a French bistro. But I have a hard time not just sticking to appetizers, because I love his starters. And I have definitely had two or three starters for a meal instead of ordering a main dish. And what's your favorite? I think I like the chicken mm -hmm. liver pate, which is served with sherry and red cherries, and has that wonderful sweet that goes so well with, with liver. I definitely love the chicken liver the pate. Starters. Ryan, where did you um, go first? Absolutely. I took my mom to lunch. Aww. Um, Aww. Nice I thought guy. that was really nice that, was, that was nice. And I know um, everyone went to dinner, but our lunch experience was great. Mm -hmm. We arrived, it was very, very busy. Mm -hmm. So they said, please take a seat on the patio. And we actually started with a hibiscus lemonade in the sun of Los Gatos. Wow. We're nice. both San Franciscans, mm -hmm. so the sun is like, <laughs> we sit and we just basked in it for about 20 minutes before we got a table. And then we went right to the uh, crab toast. We would have liked to have a little more of that very clean Dungeness crab flavor. It was a little muddled with avocado and a farmer's cheese, but when I got that really great big bite of lumpy crab meat, that was excellent. And there was enough where if we had finished it, we wouldn't have been able to finish much else. It was it was entree portion size. I love how large the, the starter portions are. They are. Did you agree with that, Philippe? I did. I had the chicken liver pate and it was infused with cognac, and I loved it because my mom used to make that. Oh. It was served with croutons, it was delicious, it was creamy, just perfect. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to have comfort food that night, probably because it looks like a house to me, it looks like someone's inviting me to their home. <laughs> so I had the meatloaf, and it was served with a wonderful, creamy mushroom uh, coulis or a sauce, and underneath there were <laughs> this these most wonderful mashed potatoes. It was like eating clouds. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that I ate that whole dish in maybe five minutes, and it was delicious. It was you came perfect. out with, with mashed potatoes all over, <laughs> your, <laughs> all over your mustache and your beard, didn't you? He's really famous for that meatloaf. His, it's his grandmother's recipe, he says. It is very flavorful. Uh -huh. It is a, an American bistro, right? And so for me, I hear that, and I automatically gravitate toward the burger. 
this one I think was elevated, it was delicious. They called it a Kobe burger, and the meat was rich, velvety. There's a bit of pork belly that really sets it off, and it had really nice tomatoes. That's not heavy at all, is it? A little, a little pork belly on your burger? <laughs> no, <laughs> you know what? And they, were, and they were nice enough because, again, I was with my mom, I said, you know, can we split these mains? Yeah. And they actually brought it out to us, sure. burger, even Split. in half with nice. her scallops on the other half of one plate for each of us. Wow. And I thought that was so considerate. Really, that made the experience really special. Right. And, and you um, had scallops as well? And we had the scallops, mm -hmm. which were perfect. Right. With the crispy kale, which that um, bitterness mm -hmm. in the scallops that they serve with the polenta in a kind of a really light Italian sausage sauce, and I think to me that was the star dish at lunch. Mm -hmm. He's doing things that a lot of people in the Bay Area are doing, but I think he just does them so well. Uh, for example, roasted Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. That's very popular now, but his are just cooked so perfectly, charred on the outside and really soft and mushy on the inside, mm -hmm. with some, of course, pork belly in there too. <laughs> but we also had wine, and I love that Nick's feature is Santa Cruz. And people don't know what a historic region that is, the Santa Cruz Mountains for wine. There's some beautiful wineries yeah. there. It is. It was uh, really good. Service was impeccable. Um, oh yeah, the service was service terrific. Was. Don't they make you feel like you're just part of the family? Well, you are. Mm -hmm. and, and they're very intuitive too. When I arrived there after driving from San Francisco, the wait staff, the, the hostess, um, you know, when I arrived, she looked at me and she said, you need a cocktail. And I said, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we were sat down on the veranda in the front mm -hmm. and we just had a wonderful evening. It was warm and so anti-San Francisco <laughs> for weather. <laughs> it's, uh, it was great. It's nice what to about get desserts? Warm. Any desserts for the group here? Oh, we had the banana bread pudding, which came with a huge dollop of rich, airy whipped cream on top. And it came with a little uh, cognac in the base, and it was excellent. All right, Elaine, your restaurant, give us a quick summary. A true neighborhood gem. Uh, everybody has a good time at Nick's, and we always go back. All right, and Philippe? Go there for a slow evening with friends. And Ryan? I wish Nick's was next door to my home in San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you would like to try Nick's Next Door, it's located on College Avenue at Main in Los Gatos. The telephone number is 408-402-5053. It's open for lunch and dinner Tuesday through Saturday. Reservations are recommended, and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $30. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... Safe Catch Elite Wild Tuna, great for athletes, kids, and pregnancy. Safe Catch tests each and every fish for mercury. Available at nearby stores. Walmart Global E-Commerce, with small, agile work teams, is focused on big data, engineering, and e-commerce innovations. Careers available at walmartlabs.com. Sutter Health CPMC, investing in community care for more than 150 years, including two new smart hospitals. Your city, your hospital. CPMC2020.org. Natural Mattress Systems from European Sleepworks, working to improve comfort and wellness for over 40 years. European Sleepworks in Berkeley, online at sleepworks.com. Oakland International Airport, now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com. IRG has over 250 types of natural stone choices in stock today. IRG in Brisbane and Dublin, or at marblecompany.com.